Well, thank you very much. It is certainly great to get outside of Washington, D.C. And it turns out I am not uh, a rocket scientist either. Uh, I normally might have, in the old days, pretended to be one, since you think the Deputy Minister of NASA would be, but you can Google me and find out that I'm a political scientist. <laughs> um, I, I don't have any secrets, so no one does. The, uh, but it is still great to get out of Washington, and it's, a, well, it's really a pleasure to be here with so many enthusiastic innovators at the very doorstep of our world's leader in international collaboration, the United Nations. Uh, when I reflect on the role of the three IT organizations that are here with today, that the role they've played in changing the very nature of our global society, it is humbling for uh, NASA and we're very grateful for being here with you all. With the World Bank as the heart of this partnership, the IT prowess and the intellectual reach of our partnership combined with a desire to make a real difference in the lives of those in need, we can overcome some of society's greatest challenges this weekend. Today, things are shifting, and it isn't lost on us, even us bureaucrats in the government, um, that the uh, best ideas and solutions don't necessarily come from inside our organizations. Ad hoc groups of people assembled around the world around a common cause can actually change the world in a weekend. Our organizations are here to create the environment for you to learn, to innovate, and to create a more desirable future. The diversity of thought assembled here today will undoubtedly bring new approaches to the table, use data in new ways, and develop new solutions to some of society's greatest challenges. And we know we cannot do it alone. At NASA, we're problem solvers and truth seekers. If you think about our varied activities that we conduct at NASA, from developing technologies allowing humans to live and work sustainably in space on the International Space Station, to sensors peering into the edge of the universe. Data is our common product. We have cataloged over 50 years of data from our activities, and today we have over 70 spacecraft operating throughout the solar system to have left the solar system, and 14 of those are looking down here on Earth, taking the global pulse every day. Every day, many terabytes of Earth sciences data is transmitted from our satellites, and we have UAVs and high-altitude balloons, planes, and ground-based sensors collecting additional information to allow Earth scientists to model and understand our changing dynamic home planet. This raw science data is archived by all NASA missions and is available for open use now. So we are undergoing a transition. As we recognize, we need a space program for the future. We love to celebrate our past at NASA, but we need to be the 21st century space program. Learning from our rich history and taking a posture of continuous learning, we are in the process of repositioning NASA on the cutting edge, adapting to a changing external environment, embracing new technologies, engaging with our citizens, and entering into new partnerships and encouraging collaboration. This is part of the broader initiative called OpenGov, and it is the result of President Obama's first executive uh, action by issuing a memorandum of transparency and open government. At NASA, we believe this movement uh, is, it is time for this and that it has come and it will help us propel us into the future even faster. We know we won't do it alone and uh, we need to do it with all of you, with our partners who are here today as citizens and, and all citizens. The taxpayers pay for, you know, I'm the person here who literally uh, is paid for by the citizens and uh, we need to involve you in finding solutions. Random hacks is just one of these efforts that squarely fits in to our new NASA uh, policy and to use our data to talk to technologists and contribute the creating and sustainable future uh, that we all know uh, we're working towards. So I really do thank you all for your dedication. Can't wait to see how you change the world this weekend. So Godspeed, thank you.